back in Stephanie's Kitchen. Thank you, everybody, for coming back. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for getting some relevancy out of what I'm doing. I appreciate that. And I will continue to show you what I know. And if you have any questions or you want to make any suggestions, please make the suggestions in the, the, in the bottom down um, on the, in the YouTube box. And please ring that bell, press the bell, so you'll know when I'm coming back. And I'm trying to do this every Thursday. I'm trying to put something up for you. But today, I am going to make some cauliflower rice with mashed potatoes. Now, I make it this way because I know somebody that I live with that he just don't eat no vegetables. You got to hide things from the guy. So I had to make some mashed potatoes and get some cauliflower in there. He didn't even know that he ate it. He thought it was delicious. So I, I, I put that with, uh, with my um, cube steak. He didn't even know there was cauliflower in there until today while I'm telling him that there was cauliflower in there. But I'm going to tell you how to make this with my... Uh, Instant Pot, and I'm going to use a, I'm going to try to use this ramekin. That's what I'm going to do today. This is a ramekin that actually goes with, uh, that actually goes with, um, goes inside of the uh, pressure cooker. So I'm going to try to use it all together. So I'm going to steam my cauliflower in that. That's the way I'm going to try to do that today. So I have uh, four pounds of rusted potatoes that I already cut up. Cut the, everything up, and I washed it, of course. And so I'm going to put the four pounds in of my potatoes. And that thing over there. And in here, I'm going to put in a cup, or two cups of water. There's two cups of water in here. And I'm going to take this ramekin, and I'm going to take these cauliflowers that I that I that I just made from a whole head of cauliflower. I'm going to take half of the cauliflower, put it in the ramekin so it could steam. Only reason I'm doing it. So it can steam a little bit and I can add it to, uh, to the mashed potatoes. So I put it in here and I put the top on. Simple. I'm going to stay in here. Close it up. This thing comes with two of them in there. And I'm hoping it can get in the pot. I don't think it's going to work. It's not going to work like that. Not like that. Unless I didn't have the potatoes in here. So I'm just going to put it on top. Just like that so it can steam. Then I'll get it out. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> I'll figure it all out later. I'm going to put this on. It's closed. It should be closed. I'm going to put it on ceiling. I'm going to wait for that vent to come up, and I'm going to go to manual right here. The lid is not on like it might. Okay, now the lid is on. Close. All right, so I put it on manual. You see, at, the thing will tell you it's on 14, sec 14 minutes. I don't want it on 14. Let me clear that off. Now, I'm going to put it on manual, and I'm going to put it on for 10 minutes. 11 minutes and I'm gonna let it go and it will be, I'll be back in 11 minutes when this is steamed and done and I'll show you how easy that is. I'll be back. Hey everyone I'm back again uh, my Instant Pot went off and it stayed on for 11 minutes. I did a quick release and now I'm taking out this, uh, the cauliflower. So you can watch what I'm doing. I'm going to take it out of here without that. If I had that, uh, that other piece, it would be much easier. But, you know, you just put some gloves on and you can get it out. You see? Got it right out. And what happened is that my cauliflower actually steamed while it was in there. So it steamed. And here it goes. That's the cauliflower I'm going to put in. So right now, let me just take off one of these gloves so I can work. Right now, I'm going to just take the cauliflower out of here and put it in to my bowl. That's that. Cauliflower rice. 
in the bowl. The end. That's it. Okay. Next, I'm going to take out the mashed potatoes. Okay. A little bit at a time. What I'm going to do is get this, uh, get some butter. I'm going to put a stick of butter in this. It will taste good. And since the potatoes are already hot, no big deal. You can just put some butter in here. It'll melt. And I'm going to put some pepper in here. Because that's how I like it, with some pepper in it. And I'm going to put some, just a little bit of sea salt in it. Because potatoes do need a little salt. Put a shake or two of some sea salt in here. And I'm going to put some sour cream in here. Put a little sour cream in here. Okay. Good enough. All right, now I'm just going to mash it with this masher. I'm going to just mash everything up. The sour cream um, serves as like some kind of dairy or some milk if you wanted to have it in here. So you can just put it right on in here or not. If you don't like sour cream, don't put sour cream in here. You know, Alexa, you're being really, really making noise today, okay? Thank you. Okay, see, just mash it all up. That is mashed potatoes, and you can't tell that there's some cauliflower in here. So when your kids don't want to eat it, put it in the mashed potatoes. They won't even know it's there. And I'm going to, they're going to, we're going to eat this tomorrow with uh, some cube steak. I'm going to make some cube steak. And this is some cube steak and some vegetables will be dinner tomorrow. And I like to get my dinner out of the way so I don't have to cook on Sunday while I'm doing something else, it'll be fine. I'm going to give it a taste. And see if it needs a little more salt or pepper. Let's see. I think a little bit more salt. Give it a drop more pepper. For me, anyway. Mash it in. Come back with another fork. Okay, try it again. Very good. Very good going to be lovely with some gravy on top. Your kids won't even know they got some vegetables. Okay? Your kids, your little kids, your big kids, whoever don't like it, they won't even know it. Okay. Thank you. And this is my recipe for mashed potatoes with some cauliflower rice inside. So, you know, you have a hand. Kids will love it. Have a good day.